Well, there's been plenty of torpedoing of the opposition by the Yellow Submarine, as the home side are known, here at the Estadio de la Ceramica. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry, and delighted to be joined, as always, by Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It's Villarreal versus Barcelona. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's a look at the starting 11 for Villarreal. Francis Coccola plays with Danny Parejo in central midfield. And up front, Gerard Moreno plays alongside Alexander Surlot. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Mark andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Frenkie de Jong plays alongside Ilkay Gundogan in central midfield. And the starting role and attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. And the match begins. And a textbook interception. Oriol Romeu. Advantage Barcelona. Felix. Determined defending. Moreno. Now Cochrane. Well, the fans want to see a shot. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Femenia. And players waiting in the centre. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Stoppage in play and a chance for the referee to go back and retrospectively hand out a yellow card. As an opposing defender, you dare not take your eyes off Robert Lewandowski, even for a fleeting moment, Stuart. Well, Derek, he's brilliant in the air. So it... You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. And running it back. Joao Felix. Cancelo. Intercepting it intelligently. Moreno. Who can he pick out? Coquelin. On to Parejo. Coquelin. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out.
Parejo. And the ball with Sir Lott. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Might be dangerous. That is how to keep it out of the net. Lewandowski. Kunde. It's with Gundogan. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Gundogan. Well, unable to bend his run offside. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. It's got to be! He's blocked it! <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Coquelin. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Femenia. On to Parejo. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Frankie de Jong. De Jong. Can he create an angle? That is a tackle and a half. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. A very effective clearance. Gerard Moreno. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Oh, what an opportunity! Oh, magnificent save! Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. What reaction from the goalkeeper that was. <laughs> Elects to go short. De Jong 
on to Gundogan and return to De Jong surely and it's in a goal for Barcelona they are the team in charge Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Nil here, and the ball is moving again. and the emphasis is on creativity but nothing comes of it and defensive play to be applauded Pedraza and that'll be offside Well, nearing the half-time interval, and suffice it to say, they're not making great use of home advantage. Stuart, your assessment? Well, they can certainly play better than this. It's been a disappointing first-half display from them. But if they can just play with more urgency and energy in the second half, they can get back into this. They definitely have the quality. Space here for Barcelona. Romeo. Now with Lewandowski. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Short corner favoured. And he loves drifting in off the flank. Joao Felix. And what a magical save it was! Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, it still could be dangerous. Araujo. On the ball, Joao Felix. Lewandowski. Oh, good work by the keeper. Now sending it in. And with that, the first half action is over. It's half time here at the Estadio de la Ceramica. Well, there are sound reasons why we're focusing on Robert Lewandowski. Really enjoying a terrific game up front, Stuart. Well, he's been a joy to watch so far. He's got so much ability, and it was also a very good finish for his goal. He's been excellent. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. And he does produce the yellow card. got to be a 
And it's in! 1-0, they've breached the defence. And back in business here, I must say it was a breathtaking performance from Barca in the first half. Let's see how the second half pans out. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Beautiful pass. And clears the danger. Very quick thinking there. Gerard Moreno. Kunde. Gunduan. Who can he pick out? De Jong. Well, this could. Gunduan! And there is the goal! He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, as the replay shows, that's gone in off the post. His heart must have been in his mouth there. It's a good finish in the end. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Parejo. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. Romeo. Lewandowski. This is Robert Lewandowski. An effective challenge. And support available. Coquelin and return to Coquelin oh could be oh he saved it well And there's the delivery. Danger still on. Well, able to survive that attacking push. De Jong. Well, he's given it away. Cocola. Cocola. Has eyes for goal, foiling his opponent completely. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Who can they pick out? And making sure it wasn't problematic. Gundogan, Jules Kunde on the ball. Gundogan, Kunde. Well, 
Well, what a stop that was. Jeremy. Promising pass. Really good interception. Joao Felix. Oriol Romeu. And back to De Jong. Gundogan. What a commitment to defending. And a confident clearance. Just 20 minutes remaining now. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Oriol Romeu. Lewandowski now. Lewandowski. Well, they kept a shake defensively. Job done for now. De Jong. Joao Cancelo. Now Gundogan. Chance for Gundogan. And how about that for a save? Can someone get on the end of this? And he's made it a brace for himself. The defenders just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, here it is again. It's a well-delivered ball into the box. And Lewandowski's header is technically spot on. He arrives at the right time, makes good contact with the ball and plants it beyond the keeper. That's a really good goal. Well, back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. His team have been really poor today. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Just 15 minutes remaining. Alexander Surlot. And back with Moreno. Parejo. The fans are shouting, shoot! Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. That'll be a throw for Villarreal. Might really be able to trouble them here. Determined defending. So the final whistle almost upon us. And this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, this is certainly a performance to forget because they've been totally outplayed today. How many times have they been opened up during this game? They have to defend better than this. It's been a dismal display. Well, I have to say, the crowd are right. They need to start winning the ball back higher up the pitch. No way through. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, let's see about the cross. No nonsense clearance. The Arial sloppy in possession. Gundogan and the keeper reacting just as we would have expected Jorge Cuenca wasteful again in possession oh surely and this time it's in fabulous goal and just look at the celebrations 
Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Well, that's not a happy manager. He knows he's got a lot of work to do now. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Gerard Moreno. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Now, oh, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? But they took care of the situation defensively. Kunde. Gundogan. Jules Kunde on the ball. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. As a footballer, you can never be quite sure how it's all going to unfold. But suffice it to say, it unfolded positively for Gundogan. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today. Can someone get on the end of this? And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Oh, surely. And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations.